For this video, I asked you to send me your indie games so I can give you some feedback. My name's Jonas, I make indie games as well, and I've been completely humbled by the amount of awesome stuff you've sent me. I would say let's jump right in. Okay, I'm playing the Exophobia demo. Oh, I can't look up or down. I'll see if I get used to that, because I really would like to be able to look up and down, even though it's a very 2D-ish game. No, that's just one of the ways I would modernize these old retro games. It's just allowing me to, at the least, look up and down a little bit. Dash, space. Now what? Yo, wanna destroy these little embryos in there? Let's go. <laughs> that's, that came out wrong. <laughs> I take it back. Obviously, because I can't look down, I also can't see that the text is only visible on these platforms. Like, I can only see the text when I'm standing on these platforms. At the beginning, I was like, Woo, well, why did the text disappear so quickly? And there was literally also no way for me to know because, look, I, I can't even see the tile on the ground. So, one thing I would do is make the text stay there for a little longer when you walk over the tile. And the other thing I would do is just let me look down, please. Please! Or at the very least, you know what you can do is you can um, can have a setting in the menu that allows me to look up and down. <gasps> I did not understand why I died there. Maybe something was behind me. In that case, it would be nice if there's like maybe an indicator or something that there's something behind me. Okay, ah, okay, so maybe I should read the text. <laughs> Some enemies can't be killed now, but why Why can they not be killed? I, I don't, in, in the terms of contextualization, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to kill a plant with what seems like a very powerful laser gun. Not everything has to make sense in games. I'm just saying if there is a way to make, make it make sense, then obviously you should do it. And look, the enemies make even even make spots on the ground that I'm not allowed to walk over. But I can't look down! But can I walk over these puddles here? I can, but it slows me down. That's a lot of green fog. Yo, I can see a wa wall spawn there. Can you see that as well? Also, this might just be my personal opinion, but the vision range seems a little tight. I know this is retro and this is how these games used to be. But it also, I the, the, the way I interpret this is right that you want to make a, a modernized version of these old games so maybe you can think about increasing vision range a little bit you know what i mean i'm starting to lose orientation so let's summarize we can destroy metal walls with our gun but we cannot destroy plants like if you want to teach me that i can't destroy certain enemies yet then maybe take a really tough looking metal steel one and not not a plant okay so how do i open that door um i don't know hey there's a uh, there's a lot of wall popping in some cases look at that that it's not appearing out of the fog that's just popping into existence that egg back there i don't like it but it should be an easy fix when i press to the right i go left do these projectiles invert my movement Oh, they do invert my movement. They don't deal any damage, they invert my movement. Well, I, I would appreciate some better feedback for that then. Make the screen have a little bit of a dizzy effect or something. Because I think I was taking damage from that and was just confused why, why my controls are all messed up. And also I ha have completely lost orientation now. I have <laughs> no clue where to go anymore. <laughs> there was some text. <gasps> bad place to read text. Action or shoot to use the timer switch. Um, I would not put that text next to an enemy. I would make sure that first switch you encounter is a little more visible because that seems very easy to miss, especially when you put it next to an enemy like that. You know, the, the enemy is kind of distracting me from what's really important here. Once again, I would kind of look like to look down to the button a little bit. Instead, I'm just <laughs> like this. My head is locked into this position. Ooh, do I get a new gun? Woo! 
What changed? Ah, okay, now I'm getting some tutorial. Hold dash and shoot to shockwave. Okay, yeah, 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 I like this room, I like this room. Because this is a memorable room, I'll... When I get here again, I, I will know that I've been here already, which is very good. Okay, I think the shockwave doesn't have a sound effect yet, which I'm sure it will. Oh. Okay. Okay, 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 I see now, I see now. So now I can see where I've been already, and now I can see that I should maybe try going to the right here. Okay, that is cool. But I did not get that at all, that I can do something here. Okay, it says literally says menu at the top, so I think that's just because I'm stupid, but... Okay, let's try and go there. Like, I don't understand, you need to be so close to make the shockwave. But if you get too close, like that range... Seems to be a little unreasonable. Also, the shockwave gets bigger the longer you charge. I would like to see some feedback for that. Okay. I'm entering the hive. Where maybe the fog color should change. Maybe. Okay, we made it through the demo. I like it. It's just a couple of minor things. I think all in all it's very good. So I'm not really even sure what to say. <laughs> it's very good. Okay, so this is anchored up by Orange Flag Studios. Has very chill music. And the reason I selected this game is because I've seen it on YouTube before. It's always the psychological effect when you've seen something before you kind of more likely to want to play it. Customize ship. You yeah, obviously want to have cannons, right? But we can only have two cannons. Okay. Very nice UI sounds as well. Sound design, very good. Art style, decent so far. Hmm, let's go. So the creator of this game told me that he used um, my how to come up with game ideas video to kind of make this game, which I thought was pretty cool. And I have to say it looks very unique. Right when I saw this on a screenshot, when you see this on Steam, it looks very unique, it looks interesting, it looks unlike stuff you've seen before. And it also has kind of an appealing fantasy. You have boats, who doesn't like boats? One thing I'm noticing about the art style here is that I'm not sure there's any post-processing. Ah yeah, there's a little bit. I can see some slight vignette, I think, if I'm not completely mistaken. But there could be more and also the near clipping plane of the camera is too close to the camera, as you can see in the uh, bottom right corner there. Um, I'm constantly clipping through the terrain. Ah no, that is not clipping. There's just a triangle there. What the hell is that? Why is there a triangle in the corner? Yeah, so honestly, I think you could get a lot more out of this game, visually speaking, just by tweaking the post-processing a little bit and maybe doing something with the background. Because one thing you have to keep in mind is the background, it it fills such, it's it like it occupies such a massive area of the screen that it really pays off to do like something more interesting with it. Obviously, you don't want it to be too distracting either, but you know, there, there are some things you can definitely do. Maybe, maybe at least a gradient or something like that. I do appreciate the birds and the clouds, the little details. That's nice. Yeah, so there doesn't seem to be a tutorial yet. So let, oh, okay, I fired another <laughs> cannon shot. Um, no! It, so it seems like I'm rotating exactly around the center of the map with the camera and I cannot move the camera. So that makes me think maybe the entire map could be a little further up. Like so I can see more of the map. <laughs> God damn it. When I click on the cannon it fires or how does that work? So do I have to click on the sails maybe? What do I have to click on? Okay, so you might want to add a tutorial. Okay, here are the controls. What the hell? Don't... No, make a tutorial. This is not right. Let's try that again. Oh wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Why? So I can only click on a tile while pressing shift. No, 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 no. That doesn't seem right. I should be able to click on it even when I'm not pressing shift. Look, after a while I'll get where I can move and then I'll just be able to move there. So to be honest, maybe it should just always show where I can move. And maybe it should just not be as obnoxious, maybe it just should be a little dot there or something. That will be more self-explanatory and we all already have these super thick lines on the grid anyway, so right? So having a little more UI on the map, honestly, that wouldn't be that big of a problem. And then not make me click the shift button. Okay, so what happens if that... 
So my ship got captured. Interesting. So you're not supposed to touch the enemy ships. Yeah, yeah, yeah come here. <laughs> They're so stupid. Victory. The paid patrol ship has sunk. You continue sailing westward. Okay. Also, UI could use a little bit of love, the text as well, maybe. I know <laughs> UI is hard to do a little bit of a reoccurring theme today, as we will see. Let's try the next one. I do not like these rain particles, nor do I like these white particles at the border here. I think if you keep experimenting with those particles a little bit, you'll, you'll see what I mean, that you can just get a lot more out of these still. You can get a lot more out of these particles and it will make your game will feel a lot more expensive if you switch out these particles for something that actually looks a little bit better. Um, which boat am I? I am the blue boat. Okay. Hmm. So I cannot go next to them at all, is what you're saying? Kind of tough then. Aha! Victory! So as I understand, a little bit of the interesting part of this game is that you can also choose where you want to put your weapons on the boat. But I cannot switch that while I'm playing, which is a little silly. I cannot, as, as mentioned, if I press escape, nothing happens. So even if I want to change my setup now, I really can't. And now we have some different obstacles here. So I assume I can't move over them, but I can shoot over them, which is cool. Okay, here, take that. Oh, that another boat spawned. Maybe a little bit of a spawn animation would be nice. Oh no. Uh oh. Also, is it just me or are laser guns like, do they destroy the fantasy a little bit? Because everything seems pretty realistic, like all of the environment, all of that stuff. And then suddenly we have a laser gun on there. Um, I'm not saying remove the mechanic. I think the me mechanic is probably fine. Just saying, maybe there's, maybe you can find a way to um, recontextualize that to maybe a, you know, a super powerful cannon or, or maybe a sniper rifle or something like that. Just switch out the graphics, maybe, if you want. I'm just making <laughs> suggestions here. <laughs> oh, what? It does block projectiles. So I would say either make it not block projectiles or make it a little higher so it's clear that it blocks projectiles. Oh, sheesh. This is difficult. Uh, also, why can't they capture me and I cannot capture them? And why do they keep spawning? Ah! So this is Anchor Up. It's available on Steam. Go wishlist. As you might know, I've been working on a game for a while as well now. It's called Will You Snail? Okay. Look at that, I'm a professional gamer here. I'm dodging all of Squid's traps. I'm way smarter. I think the reason you died there is because not enough people have wishlisted Will You Snail yet. You started saying that before I even died. How did you know? He's too smart. Oh, uh, just kidding. You suck. Try again, noob. <laughs> I need to press the... <laughs> So if you want to do me a really big favor, please pause the video for a second, head over to Steam and press that wishlist button real quick. That way you'll get notified when the game comes out, which helps me to keep making these videos and games, of course. Thank you very much. Account here. So this is still early in development, so we don't have any sound. We just have this character here. F, call train, okay. Like it looks very nice already. For an early prototype, there's like nothing to complain about. There's the train, yeah, 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 yeah. run me over. Okay, <laughs> that doesn't work yet either. Hmm, very cool, very magical, very mystical. I love it already. Uh, and then it even switches into first person when you're in the train. Really cool. Like, I wonder if the developer made all of these models himself, these 3D models. Probably not, but you also don't have to nowadays. Nobody cares. 
It does look very good though. That's why I'm asking. It does look very good. <laughs> so even though the train's still going, I'm just jumping out of the train. Let's go. Ah, okay. So the, the train is basically hidden loading screen. Now the train is arriving. Okay. That is very cool. Nice. Okay, here we are. Um... The hearts in the top left corner look nice. Uh, the UI for the actual spells at the bottom I hope are placeholder because the rest of the game looks so extremely nice that I'm a little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the UI doesn't keep up, if you know what I mean. Okay, but let's try out these spells because as far as I know that's the cool part about this game. That sort of the time freezes when you use these spells. Okay, now I can tell the projectile how to bend or whatever's gonna go there. That is cool. And I can also do that mid-air and then just freeze mid-air. And with Alt you can still rotate the camera. That is really cool. That is a really cool idea for a mechanic and also looks really cool. So already I'm thinking this game has a chance to do quite well. For sure. If the rest is done right, I, I see some potential here. Movement feels nice as well. Nothing to complain about really so far. Let's try out the other spells. What can we do with E? Whoa, what the hell is that? Okay, I'll deal what I what what this makes me think is I'll deal damage, right? And then catapult myself backwards probably. I'm not sure what this other icon is trying to tell me because I'm I don't understand this icon. But I do understand that I can move this around. Bam. Yeah, and it does exactly what I thought it would do. Which is very cool. There doesn't seem to be any fall damage. Oh, the water looks nice as well. Love the water. Third spell we have is R. Oh, you're not high enough. Okay. And what does shift do? Am I just blocking? Oh, no, I'm... <laughs> well, that is pretty cool as well. So I can basically go into speed mode with shift. But only if not nothing is attacking me, I assume. That's why it has this charge up. And if nothing is attacking me, I can go into this speedy form. So yeah, I wanted to get higher up so I can do the R spell. Um, so here it unfortunately doesn't show me in which direction I will jump off. That is not completely obvious to me. Will I jump off the left side or the right side? Like what I do understand... I'm not sure if I do understand that intuitively or if that's because I've seen the, the GIF where he showed that. Is that I'm gonna jump off of this? I guess You'll understand that once you've done it once. And I'm assuming this is where I'll jump off. So let me place that here. Oh, now it shows me where I jump off. Okay, maybe it should also have a l at least an indicator where I land on it or something in the first part of placing it. Oh, I love how that wiggles around. Yes. And can we do a wombo combo thing midair then, for example? Uh, oh, I pressed the wrong button. So I want to do a wombo combo using all of the spells. Let's try that. So the spells feel very nice to use. I wonder if maybe having just a normal primary attack that you can fire like this probably feel nice as well. I don't know, we, do, we haven't even encountered any enemies yet. Um, okay, so I'll jump off here. Then I'll use this to jump very high into the air. Then I'll try to press E to shoot at something from the air. And then Q, 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 Q. Wait, now what? Oh, oh have I even used this before? <gasps> wait a sec. Oh, wait a sec. <gasps> oh, that's interesting. The spells I can use, they change after I use them. Oh, I haven't used this one either yet. What? Oh, okay, that obviously means I have to rem remember a couple more icons, but what I assume will be the case in the final game is that uh, I'll not unlock these spells all right from the beginning, right? I'll probably unlock them one after another and have plenty of time to learn them because now like this it's obviously a little overwhelming. <laughs> okay, let's check out the queue then. I think I haven't... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that in the GIF as well. Mm, it's very interesting. I don't like if... I, I don't know if I like the way of controlling that though. So I ha can basically give it five points. So for example, I can just make one very strong or I could make 
a one with strength five and height two. Uh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Or I can make it a little wider. So plenty of, okay, yeah, I guess it's pretty cool, okay. I'm not sure how it will feel during combat and obviously the UI doesn't look nice. We'll just have to say that it, it doesn't look nice. Oh, now I can also choose where I wanna place it as well. So plenty of stuff to choose. So it's basically, it's, it's, it feels like a mixture of turn-based and real-time almost. Oh, and I can place that wherever I want. No, there there's a maximum radius. Ah, I managed to place it in the air. I found a bug. Ha 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 ha. Oh, she can wall run as well. Stop it. Whee. Oh yeah, I see some enemies. I see some enemies. Okay. I'll try to shoot here and bend this projectile like that, yeah. What was wrong there? Hey, stop, stop attacking me. I need some time to figure this out. Hey, here, take that. And leave me alone for a sec. Whoa, what? Ah, oh my god, I'm... <laughs> I think I died. So will this happen every time I die? It's kind of cool, but it also seems a little annoying. Or did the game just realize that it glitched out and restarted? That could be the case as well. I'm not sure. Oh, not close enough. Yo, what the heck? Oh no. Oh no, I think the game just glitches out there. Okay, so we have some minor flaws there, some minor bugs. <clears throat> yeah, I think if you get, get used to this a little bit, you can probably do some very cool stuff with it. I dig it. <laughs> There's not much more to say, it's just, uh, it's really good. Okay, so this is a mobile game, Carpocalypse, from Jensen. Which is why I'm looking down so much. <laughs> um, yeah, I... Adventure mode First map Okay, so there are different cars I can unlock Okay, so typical mobile game stuff. So I need to grind a lot. I get it. Okay, okay Massive buttons on the screen. Uh-huh Okay, so the controls are fairly fun. I'm just racing here. And apparently getting some extra points for jumping over stuff. And now of course I they want me to watch even more ads, which I don't want to do, so let's restart. Okay, this one is for slowing down. And this one is for accelerating. You should even be able to see which buttons I'm pressing, right? Because they change when I'm pressing then. Yeah, but what if I just... Why did I die there? Like, um, I need some feedback. Uh, like, I, I didn't explode, I didn't fall down anywhere, I don't know why I died. Oh, and there's uh, like a trophy appearing in the top right corner, so I assume that's sort of my main objective. Wait, what? Driving over people makes them go up disappear. I have to be honest, this wouldn't stay on my <laughs> this this won't stay on my phone for very long. I'm get I, I get what I'm running away from now. All of these poof 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 clouds. I'm running away away from these clouds and when they get too close I lose. But that should be I think that should be a little more visible. Should be a little more clear what I'm running away from and not just a bunch of particles all around me and then no feedback why I lost. Also going off-road doesn't really seem to s slow me down that much so I'm just gonna do that. Like there's no punishment for going off-road. There are just less obstacles there. Okay, <laughs> there are obstacles as well. I'll take it back. Okay, the game crashed, or maybe the, the recorder, I'm not sure. But here we go again. Um, for a first level in the adventure mode, that seems very difficult. I would make that a little bit easier. 
And also one thing I want to say about the ads is, sure, ads are a great way to monetize mobile games. But if people uninstall the app after their first play session because there were so many ads, then you can't make any more money <laughs> with showing ads. So what you want to do, if you want to do it with ads, then tone them down a little bit, especially when a player is new to the game. So what a lot of mobile games do is they let the players play at the very least for like an hour or so wi without bothering them with too many ads. And then when the players are hooked, then you start showing the ads. I'm realizing I'm giving you uh, all of the mani manipulation tactics here, but like this, just from a design perspective, this doesn't make any sense, you know? Okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, go again. Watch a short video to play from the checkpoint. You know, that that is a very good way of doing things. I like that. Watch um, a short video to play from the last checkpoint. That is a fair deal. But then don't bother we, me with an ad before that. Otherwise, I'll be so pissed at you and definitely not click that button. So what I would say is this game is not very friendly to new players, in ter both in terms of difficulty as well as in terms of ads. It's not very friendly to new players, so mm, I wouldn't be su too surprised if like the retention isn't too great. Um, but other than that, it is a good game. Like that, that's oftentimes that's oftentimes the shame, right? It is a good game. I I like it. It's fun. Oh no, <laughs> I almost did it. <laughs> I bet that was the end of the level. Oh, it's about to crash again, okay. It's not... Hmm. Hello? Yeah, it crashed, okay. <laughs> I didn't make it past the first level, unfortunately. And I'm gonna press this... Um, uninstall button now, even though I really like it. The gameplay part. Uh, gameplay is good, a little too difficult. The ads for me personally are a no-go. Maybe there are some people who will tolerate this kind of obnoxious, these kinds of obnoxious ads, but like the frequency and stuff right from the beginning. Nah! Cool, that's all I have to say about this. I'm Unfortunately, I'm not a mobile game expert, but I thought it'd be interesting if I give a mobile game a shot as well. But yeah, keep up the good work. It's, it's a good game. It's a very good game. I'd, didn't mean to diminish your work. No, 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 no. <laughs> I Oftentimes I'm just getting in a mode where I'm thinking out loud while making these videos. It's a good game. Okay, now we're playing Atrio, The Dark Wild by our fellow YouTubers at Isto Inc. I'm honestly, I'm not sure if this game is a solo project or made by a team. Honestly, it looks like it's made by a team. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I've seen some devlogs, but I can hardly remember anything. I've seen the dev vlog where the dev talked about this tutorial area here. And I like this these kinds of tutorials where the text is just directly in, in the level because that means you can just start playing right away. Learn the system before you deploy the surface to the surface. <laughs> yeah. Hit tab to open crafting menu. Oh ho ho ho. Graph pipe. Factory. Where are my tooltips? I don't know what any of these things do. Ah, that's what I have. Mm. And I can put that into my quick selection down there. Sure, let's... Graph pipe. Honestly, I, I see what they are now. They're conveyor belts. Just please, just call them conveyor belts. Um, that way it will be more self-explanatory in my opinion. And yeah, if, if there's an easy way to explain something like giving it an explanatory name, why not do that? Or Harvester, that is an explanatory name. I think by reading that name, I know what it does. Can I not put that into my fourth or my fifth slot? Apparently not. Okay, and here I can see what I need to craft something. And, ah, okay, and here I also have some tooltips what everything does. Or Harvesters are gathering or mining rocks. Are great for mining rocks. Okay, there's a graph pipe. Yes, yeah, so what does it do? It's, it's a conveyor belt. Just say it's a conveyor belt. Click, hold, drag to fast place graph pipes. After I selected it is what you mean, huh? 
Yeah. Oh, okay, I see why you call it graph pipe because the, the the ground doesn't move. Okay, fair enough. I'll give you a pass on that one. I'll I let it go. Mm, very juicy placement sounds. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Try building a re really, really long line. Sure. Ooh, it's kind of hard to rotate it in the correct direction. Like this is a really good tutorial. I like this tutorial a lot because it lets me do things. It let me lets me do things at my own pace. I love this. I love it. Factories will craft for you by setting the factory recipe to graph or. I do not like when everything has weird imaginary names because then I have to relearn what everything does and can't take use any of my knowledge that I have from reality. Yeah, yeah, change recipe to graph or here you go. So now it changes graph or to graph or. Like what goes in looks almost the same as what goes out. I'm not sure what this does, but okay. Try building blood fuel. So I can also harvest stuff manually, okay. So yeah, pretty, pretty factorial like, but with it's a little more zoomed in than Factorio, which I personally don't mind at all. Is this the harvester? No, that's the factory. This is the harvester. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh you're asking already a little more of me. And we really have to remove all of these. If you want to teach me how to remove these, just put a few in my way, not that many. Like one thing I have to admit, it's th this is not uh, my kind of game. W was not a super big fan of Factorio either, but some people will, some people will love this for sure. Yeah, I like the tutorial. This gives me some good routine on what what I need to do. Oh, but <laughs> no, I don't have any harvesters anymore. Oh, try building blood fuel. I'm, am I meant to craft it manually? Oh, maybe I meant to craft it manually because I don't have any. Like, how do I build new harvesters? Let's check out the crafting menu. Factory. Okay, now I have a new factory. Now I should be able to build what I want after lasering away these flowers. And here is where we turn it into blood fuel. Okay, you can't see what's behind that. I can see that becoming a problem sometime. Okay, let's get started. Start mission. Whoa. Oh, there's creepy eye. Oh, holy moly. Okay, this looks nice. Okay, 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 okay. There are a lot of deer. <laughs> Restore power and repair the base. What are these eyes? Like, does anything bad happen when I go there? Uh, probably. Okay, I think if I'm in there for too long, I just die or something. Acceptable sacrifices. So I need one glow bulb or blood fuel. I can give you one glow thingy. That's not a problem. There you go. Ah, but that will probably only last for so long, right? Yeah, yeah. it's draining. I'll give you a few more. That's very cool. And I assume if I put like a conveyor belt there or something that ah yeah yeah here's where where I can put a conveyor belt to put something in automatically. Yeah 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 yeah. What do I need to do here? Eat box. And that needs a flower as well or what? To upgrade. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> now I can... Uh, what, what do I do with these recipes? Okay, so I feel like um, this, whatever this is, is probably like my main objective, right? I need to get one blood ore in there. Download recipes. Put the thing in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> now I can build makeshift torch, scrap wires and wires. Oh, it's even has rain. Very nice. <laughs> There's a deer that is essential to my survival. <laughs> no, wait, you're essential to my survival. Ah, oh, they're gone. Yeah, people people will like this game when it comes out. I, I can already tell. <clears throat> I love these destroyed base blocks as well. Okay, my light is about to fade. Let's put in some wires here. Ta-da! Oh no, error. Boost power. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that. <laughs> but I think I won. Why does my head explode in order to... Oh, okay. 
I'm just one of many employees. And now this is maybe where we get some story bits. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I have not a lot to complain ab about for this one because this is all really, really good. Like the the reason why I um, like to pick these better looking games for these Jonas Place Your Games videos is because if I like pick some random garbage, uh, there's like, there are so many obvious things that could be improved that it's not really interesting to talk about that. I find it more interesting to talk about games that are already at a certain level and to, to see if we can find some high level feedback to improve those. Um, but that obviously causes the risk that sometimes they're just so good that I can't really say anything about them. No, this is really, this is really solid. I like it. Yo, it's been a while since we spent so much quality time together, right? <laughs> Make sure to subscribe if you're new and otherwise check out the shelf man who was so kind to edit this video. He makes game dev content as well. I make game dev content. So just subscribe to everybody on YouTube. You know how it goes. There are links everywhere. Wishlist, Will You Sedale. I don't know. See you next time.